Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss torsional pendulum. We are going to find time period for torsional pendulum and modulus of rigidity of the suspension wire in case of torsional pendulum. Let us understand what is torsional pendulum. A rigid body which is capable of executing angular simple harmonic motion in a horizontal plane about a vertical axis passing through its CZ is called torsional pendulum. So I'm writing a rigid body which is capable of executing angular simple harmonic motion in a horizontal plane about a vertical axis passing through its CG that is center of gravity is called torsional pendulum. Okay. Now, let us consider consider a torsional pendulum in the form of dicks. So I'm drawing so this is dicks and this is suspension wire okay and this end of suspension wire is rigidly fixed so this is rigid support okay and let the radius of the dicks be r okay so capital r is radius of dix and let the length of suspension wire be l so l is the length of wire and let small r okay be the radius of the wire and let eta be the modulus of rigidity of the wire. So we have this. Clear? Now, as we have defined torsion pendulum, rotate in horizontal plane, okay? So the dix rotates in horizontal plane about a vertical axis passing through its CG. The axis is passing through the center of gravity of the dix. And the axis is vertical and the dix rotates in horizontal plane. So we need to note this. Now, When the dix is rotated by angle theta, then the wire gets twisted by same angle theta. So when we rotate dix by angle theta, then the suspension wire gets twisted by same angle theta. 
therefore therefore a restoring torque is produced on the suspension wire which tends to bring the system back to its equilibrium position clear so what we find when the disc is rotated by angle theta then the wire gets twisted by same angle theta due to which a restoring torque is produced on the suspension wire which tries to bring back the system that is suspension wire and disc back to its equilibrium position so we can write restoring torque tau proportional to minus theta okay where theta is the angle of twist so we can write tau equals minus c theta so this is equation 1 where c is the constant of proportionality called torsional constant c this is torsional constant okay and theta this is twist produced in the wire so we have this clear now the value of c okay the value of c so i'm writing over here depends on the properties of wire it depends on the properties of wire so we have this now we know tau equals i alpha okay where i is the moment of inertia okay of the body and alpha is the angular acceleration and we can write this as d square theta by dt square now from 1 and 2 we can write i alpha equals minus c theta and c is the torsional constant and negative sign indicates the restoring nature okay the torque tends to restore the system back to its equilibrium position so we have i and alpha is d square theta by dt square equals minus c theta so we can write d square theta by dt square equals minus c by i theta so d square theta by dt square plus c by i theta equals 0 and let us suppose okay omega square equals c by i so let us call it equation number 3 so we can rewrite this equation in this way d square theta by dt square plus omega square theta equals 
so this is differential equation which represent the motion okay of torsional pendulum so this is to be noted okay now let me erase this okay So I'm writing, rewriting this equations d square theta by dt square plus c by i theta equals zero. And we have suppose, okay, so this is equation three. Therefore, we get a differential equation which represent the motion of torsional pendulum now let us do some rough work okay we have this okay tau equals minus c theta so c equals tau by theta okay i'm writing in magnitude this is a magnitude now we know torque equals force times perpendicular distance this is in magnitude okay so torque tau equals force and we have distance so i'm writing in this way okay force times perpendicular distance and we have this okay now i want to find the dimension of torsional constant okay so dimension of c is dimension of force dimension of distance and we know theta has no dimension okay theta this is dimensionless and what is the dimension of force so force equals mass times acceleration okay so mass and acceleration is l by t square so we can write in this way so so this is dimension of force so dimension of c equals dimension of force is m l t power minus 2 and we have distance so we get finally m l square t power minus 2 so this is dimension of c so we have this now let us find dimension of moment of inertia okay i and we know moment of inertia i is mass time square of distance okay or let me write in this way m r square so we get this m l power 2 so 
we have suppose omega square equals c by i so let us find the dimension of omega square and we know omega square is 2 by twice pi by t all is square okay so we can write in this way 4 pi square by t square and this is 4 pi square is dimensionless and we have suppose omega square equals c by i so i'm writing in this way and c is m l square t power minus 2 okay the dimension of c and dimension of i is m l square so what we find okay mass cancels out and l square cancels out so we get this 1 by t square okay on right hand side so what we find dimension of omega square equals dimension of c by i so this equation is dimensionally correct so we have supposed square of angular frequency equals c by i which is dimensionally correct Now, let us find time period, okay? So, we take equation 3, omega square equals c by i, omega is twice pi by t. So, we have square, okay? c by i. So, 4 pi square by t square equals c by i so on arranging we get t square equals 4 pi square i by c so we can write directly t equals twice pi under root i by c so this is the required expression for time period of torsional pendulum okay now as I said earlier, we can find the modulus of rigidity of the suspension wire. So, for wire, torsional constant C is given by an expression C equals pi eta, which is modulus of rigidity R4, okay, and small r is the radius of the suspension wire, okay divided by 2L and L is the length of the suspension wire. Now, let us call this equation, equation 4 and this as equation 5. Now, from 4 and 5, we get get this okay so t equals twice pi now squaring both side So, this pi cancels, okay. So, we can write and we have pi also 
Okay, let me write in this way. Therefore, we can write modulus of rigidity of the suspension wire eta equals 8 pi li by r square, sorry, r4, r power 4, t square. So this is the required expression for modulus of rigidity of the suspension wire. 